Hey guys, it's me Ashley with Staying Strong with Ashley. These past few months have been crazy. There have been a lot of things going on and a lot of injustices and stuff happening. Um, I'm going to just kind of talk about what's been on my heart the past couple months. Um, and I think it should help at least some people um, today. Um, today actually is Logan's angel anniversary, which means it's the eighth year that he has passed away. It's a hard time because when Logan's death brings a lot of different emotions for me. It brings in insecurities, it brings in fears, and it brings in a lot of hurt. Um, if you haven't seen my past videos in regards to what exactly happened, I recommend re uh, looking at it. Um, you can YouTube Ashley's Multiple Loss Story um, and re listen to it that way, but I'm not going to reiterate, but it, it is hard because I knew that when Logan was born that pretty much my marriage had kind of ended, which every year brings up different emotions for me. Um, fear, hurt, insecurities, um, just sadness, um, and other times I think it's okay. This morning I woke up feeling totally okay. I mean, that probably was also that I slept 12 hours, but I felt great. Um, I also know that throughout the day if I don't feel okay, that that's okay too. It's hard to say that on the day what I'm going to feel or not feel. And so I always ask my friends to just kind of keep the day open. If I need them, I'll reach out or they'll reach out to me. And if I don't, then that's okay too. I think it's okay because we don't have to have a plan. Um, when we grieve the loss of our children, sometimes we feel like we have to have a plan. We have to do something. We have to be there. It's okay to just not or to just be okay or to just do a last minute thing. Um, it's nothing, nothing has to be done. And that's what I've learned, that I don't have to do anything. Um, I honestly don't know if I will do anything. I'm not sure that I really want to. Um, I, I, I thought about it. Now I'm going back and forth if I want to or not, but ultimately, the decision is mine. And I don't have to do anything. And so I want to just say, like, if you are going through a hard time with your child's loss and you don't want to do anything, then don't do anything. If you want to, then do it. Like, no one's, there is no right way to do this. And there's no wrong way. We are just working through it together. Um, and that brings me to another point I have. Love. We all need love. We all want love. We all want to, to just be connected with people. And for me, um, I have a wonderful group of friends and my family to stay connected with, but I know that's not always true for someone. And so I just want to say that if you're really going through a hard time and you need a listening ear, please reach out to me. Um, I could give you my information. If you don't already have some information on my blog, um, definitely go and do that. But know that that I'm here for that. But when it comes to love, we think of love as this like eyes, heart, feelings thing. Love means so much more. Love means listening truly listening. Love means being there. Love means wanting the best for that person or persons. Everything that's happened in the past couple months have not been, the injustice that's happened has not been loving. Okay? And we all can agree that, that it's not a loving justice at all and our justice system is kind of janked. 
So what do we do instead? We love one another. We connect with one another. We listen to one another. Um, I've connected with some of my friends about so many different things the past month. And one thing that I've noticed is that everyone wants to be heard. We just want to be heard. And when we're not heard, we get to a point where, where eventually we will be. And so if you aren't feeling heard, I, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you're not feeling heard, and I'm sorry that people aren't listening to you. And I will do my best to try and listen to you. But I want to implode whoever watches this video that if you have a friend who's hurting, if you have a friend who's upset or sad for whatever reason, whatever the reason, it doesn't even have to be a reason that you agree with, just listen to them. Hear them without, with no intention of just hearing them. Without wanting to talk back, without wanting to argue, this is not the time for that. This is the time to build unity and connection and love. We are to be connected with one another than anything else. God didn't make us to be um, separated. He made us to be loving and connecting. And if you don't know what active listening is, it is the, the part of listening where you don't have anything to say, you listen without the intent to speak, and you allow that person the opportunity to, to say everything they need to. It is not your turn to speak. It is not your time to voice your own opinions about what's been going on or your own opinions about what they should do next. It's about the time for you to hear, listen, and take it to heart. And I want to say this includes for those who are grieving. Grieving any sort of loss. Sometimes we get in a rut or in a stage where we think we know how that person feels because we may have gone through it before. And no matter what you may have gone through before, their circumstances are probably a little different than yours and their circumstances do not make yours or theirs less than anybody else's and they just need your love and your connection and your community. And so, show, I just ask that you show that to people. Show that to everyone around you, especially those who are hurting, especially those who are sad, those who are grieving. There are so many things going on that I just, that my heart hurts. My heart hurts for those, for those who can't speak for themselves, for those who feel like no one's listening, for those who feel that are numb to everything. Because this means that they're, they've been defeated. And my heart hurts. My heart hurts for the injustice that's been happening. My heart hurts for the fact that we can't go out and connect with each other. And yet, I know that my opportunity is to show love and grace to everyone around me. And to me, that person that can step above everyone else in regards to showing that. Um, don't get me wrong, I'm no better than anyone else. I have made my own mistakes. I have done some pretty crazy things in my past. But what I do know is that when I'm not heard and I'm not listened to, that makes me feel a certain way as I'm sure it does to anybody else. And with that, I just ask and, and connect with you in regards to Father's Day. There are dads out there who truly, truly have no one. Because guys don't always express it the same way, and they don't know how. And so I just ask, as Father's Day is coming up, you connect and really listen to those dads out there who are grieving. Grieving the loss of their child, 
trying to make sure their wife is okay and understanding what's going on, be that listening board. And I don't know if any guys listen to this, but as a woman, I can really do my best to listen to guys, but ultimately a guy needs a guy to listen to him so he can feel validated during these grieving times. And I know it sounds silly, but sometimes you just want someone who is your same sex to just say, yes, this is okay. What you're feeling is valid, and I'm here to help you through it. And guys don't always get that. So, in the end, I just want us to really connect and know where to go forward. Love one another. Love. Don't be rude. Don't be mean. Listen. Love. And just try. Don't be hateful because someone, you know, tried a different way. We are all working through this together. We're all just trying to be a better people. And we're going to make mistakes. And so just have grace on each other. But also listen. Listen without the intent of talking. Listen to want to hear what they say. Not to input your own opinion. Not to input what they should do, but truly listen to their feelings. And then sit and connect with them. Each person is different on what they need. I can give you all the tips in the world, but just know that if you know this person well, whoever they are, just connect with them on that level. I think it's important that we as a society, as a world, that now even more is the time to build the unity and to stop with the separation, instead to be constantly connected with one another. Things can change and things can continue to change and will continue to change when we're together. Um, if you haven't already looked at my previous video from last year in regards to Father's Day and you have a dad who's lost a child, I recommend um, looking at it. Um, and then if you are feeling unheard and you need someone to listen, whether it's because you've lost a child, whether it's because of the injustice of the world, whatever it is, and you don't have anyone, Feel free to comment below or look at my blog and get my uh, email, and we can connect that way. I don't want anyone to feel that they are not being heard, and their voices don't matter because ultimately our voices always matter. And when there's injustice in the world, and when there's hurt in the world, we need to go after it with love and care, and to go after it with surrounding the whole world together instead of separating it. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I'll see you next time. Bye.